Hello everybody, welcome to my third tutorial in the PSPY series. My name is Sami Kanathani and in this tutorial we will discuss sources, dependent sources and how to apply them in PSPY. Now, dependent sources are into four types. Two voltage sources, two voltage dependent sources and two current dependent sources. Now, this is a voltage dependent source. Now, this voltage dependent source is depends on voltage and the voltage across this this resistor which is Vx. Now, 2 Vx. Suppose that Vx equal to 2, then this full this voltage source supplies 4 volts. This is also a voltage source but depends on current. Now, and it depends on the current IY. Now, if IY is 1 ampere, then the voltage source will supply 3 volts, and not 3 amperes. It is a voltage source, but depends on current. Now, if this current is, for example, minus 1 ampere, you should reverse the plus and the minus, and it will supply uh, minus 3 volts if, we, if it, it stays like this. Now, we go to the current dependent sources. Now, this is a current dependent source that depends on voltage. For example, if the, if the voltage, voltage Vx is, for example, 2 volts, then this source will supply 4 ampere. And this is a current source that depends on current. For example, if Iy is 1 ampere, then the current supplied by the source is 3 ampere. And pay attention to the negative sign and to the direction of the current and to the polarity of the voltage. Now, how to apply the, these issues in PSPICE? Now, no. Let's go and now E, select the analog library and press in the search engine for E, you will have a voltage source that depends on voltage. Now, if I want a voltage source that depends on current, also make sure to select the analog library and not the source library. E and press H. Now, H is a voltage source but depends on current. If you want a current source that depends on voltage, press G, and that's a current source that depends on voltage. And if you want a current source that depends on current, press F, and that's a current source that depends on current. Now, let's take an example on connecting the circuit, and the circuit have a dependent voltage source that depends on voltage. We are required to find Ix by piecewise. Close that. Here we go. First, we need a voltage source that depends on voltage, then we select E. Make sure to select the analog library. And we need two resistors. Connect on here and press R to rotate. Connect it here. And select the source library to get the sources. We need a voltage source, dependent sources, independent sources. And we need a current independent source. Let's see the values. Here's a 10 ohm resistor, a 4 ohm, here's a 10 voltage, and here's 2 ampere. Let's connect the circuit. Let's connect first the AC part. Remember that you can get the wires by clicking on W. Uh, 
make sure to connect the circuit to these terminals now how can we set that this source depends on 5 VA which is the voltage that, that across this resistor well that's easy first supply click here 5 because it is 5 VA and make make it parallel to it now the voltage across this source the voltage supplied by this source is five times the voltage across this resistor now we should not forget the ground it's a major mistake that most people uh, most student forget to put a ground in their circuit make sure to select bias point and click into play we, g we are given that the current flowing in this branch is 7 amperes which is ix 7 ampere now you can use kvl and kcl to find that the value of this current is 7 ampere well uh, there is another way to find uh, to connect uh, the uh, the dependent sources we now we will now see it now you we will use the net alias way which is select here and press for example a this node is named a and here and make B here's a negative port and select A let me repeat for you because I think I did it fast on A and this way is called the net alias way and B and let's be on the negative part of VA and A press an OK it's here now you are telling piece by that the voltage in this source is Say as is five times a the voltage across here a b. Make sure that the positive on the positive part of v a and the negative is on the negative part of v a. Now run. See that we forget the node. It it gave us that. Uh, you ha we have floating points. Here we go, and the value is seven ampere. That's very easy. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Hope you benefit from this video, and see you later.